Looks like those evil racist landlords are at it again. Got a little woke piece for y'all. Milwaukee County banned Section 8 housing voucher discrimination, but landlords still do it. This is just another one of those wild freaking woke fluff pieces that are just set up with complete inaccuracies, and they're just trying to paint landlords is evil, rich, racist robber barons. Let's talk about the realities of what's really going on. <laughs> All right, y'all. So this this story came across this one, and I'll link it below if you want to read the whole story because we're not going to go over much of it. Uh, we're just going to go over the crux of it here and, and, and the reality, right? Because the article... If you're interested in like a hard-hitting news piece, right? If you're interested in learning about real estate, learning about Section 8 housing, uh, this article ain't going to teach you none of that, okay? This article ain't about facts. Now, if you want like a nice, cute, little fictitious story, you should check this out, right? Uh, the nuts and bolts of what we got going on, okay, is back in 2018, Milwaukee doing what a lot of places are doing, man. They're, they're going after landlords, guys. Landlords are whew, they're becoming an endangered species, man. People are coming after us. They're coming after our rights. They're vilifying us, right? This whole woke agenda, dude, they hate landlords. We are public enemy number one. Y'all need to know that, right? And they're always trying to get one over on you, take away your property rights. Like a lot of these blue places, dude, they're not, they are not your friend, y'all. Like I know... Like, kids in school, like, we teach them, like, oh, America's the greatest place in the world. Like, yeah, usually when, like, the government is, like, staying out of your business and we talk about being free, America's getting less and less free every single day and stuff like this is why, man. So 2018, okay, six years ago, they're like, nah, you can't discriminate against Section 8 anymore, okay? You got to take Section 8, okay? Can't discriminate against it. No, no, no. Section 8 is just as good as a job, okay? If Section 8 pays a thousand, you are got another guy who's got the money to show that he could pay a thousand. They're equal, according to the government, okay? But in reality, that's not true, is it, guys? No. A lot of you, if you read shit like this, you think it is. You know, they went on about this mom or something and like, woo, woe is me story, blah, blah, blah. Evil, horrible landlords won't rent to me. That's probably because you're a fucking adult who can't pay for the roof over your head because you are too irresponsible to take care of yourself and your various little crotch demons, okay? Just because you shot out a bunch of little crotch monsters that you can't or won't feed on your own without taking money from the tax man who's taking it from the Americans who actually have responsibility and actually pay to feed their own fucking children, just because you won't do any of that, right? That doesn't mean anything. The only reason a landlord would consider denying your application must just be because they're racist, right? That's kind of what the government and what these, well, the blue the blue side of the government, and what these, like, woke uh, news reporter people, that's kind of like, that's the picture they're painting. And that's, it's nonsense, okay? You, this this reporter, uh, John Masha Beltran, I'm sorry, I screwed up your name a little bit, my bad. Um, I'm going to guess this chick never, ever in her life has owned a rental property or rented it to Section 8 tenants. I'm going to guess a decent chunk of people may be watching this. Don't actually know what it's like uh, to rent properties to Section 8 tenants. Now, I'm not going to say it's the worst thing in the world. As a matter of fact, I love it. As a matter of fact, it is my career path. I have literally rented and dealt with thousands of Section 8 tenants, y'all. I, I, I believe in renting properties to Section 8 tenants, but I also believe that landlords have the right to choose whether they want to rent to a Section 8 tenant or they don't. And I hate seeing blue government, uh, this progressive nonsense, keep taking away and eroding those rights. Because truth be told, y'all, Section 8 tenants in, uh, like, you know, a lot, like, people try to, like, turn Section 8 tenants into, like, this protected class, right? Like, they're trying to be, like, 
you know, throwing it in to like <laughs> the the arena of like men or women, white or black, gay or straight. Like they're trying to get it thrown in there like gay people are going to pay their rent just like straight people. You can't discriminate against gay people. You can't discriminate against women. Women are going to pay their rent just like men. Dude, guys, the color of your skin, the sex, right? Gay or straight, these <laughs> these are not things. Uh, these are things that, like, you're born with and they just happen and they, they have, like, no bearing uh, on your actual character and your ability to be a responsible adult, okay? Being on Section 8 is not like that at all. Being on Section 8 literally means you are not responsible enough to pay your own bills. That is literally what it means. Stop trying to pretend like this is some trait that is not directly affecting the landlord or something that you were born with, bro. <laughs> you either uh, apply yourself and make enough money to feed your family or you fucking don't. Like, come on. I mean, it's just nonsense. And for those of you that are watching this, like, ah, fuck this guy. He's a dick. Dude, I told y'all I've been dealing with, I dealt with thousands of Section 8 tenants. You need to know what I'm talking about. They, they don't understand, Johnny. What are we going to do right now? What do you think we should do? I think we should roll some clips for them. Show them. Give them like two, maybe three minutes of that Section 8 life, and then let's bring it back to me. This room, there's a hole in the floor, and it's all like bowed up, so I'm kind of hesitant to take too many steps in here. And there's that. There's another hole in the floor. And of course the ceilings. Yeah, let's come on over here to this ceiling too. I don't even see that spot. And it's beautiful. To the fucking creep, you know? Hello? What the hell's that? I have some shit. Doing the walkthrough for this house, we were told by the neighbor that there's potentially squatters in here. Backside clear, about a fish. Checking the front. Okay. Oh fuck me, dude. Gotcha. Okay. Who's got the light light? Pete. Somebody took the light from me. Holy shit! Look at Vincent's light. Let your light is bright as fuck. You are the light that illuminates my world. Damn, dude, that's that's some hobo ingenuity. Yeah, dude, you see the fucking like the the whole rig, the baseball bat, and the, yeah, 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 everything. You gotta prop it up enough. It only looks a little spooky. It's only a little bit of mold. Yep. So this hello? was open or it was unlocked? It was unlocked. Okay. Hello, hello. We're just here for a walk. <laughs> yeah, the, the portal. <laughs> it's dark. Yeah, no, I was looking at it. It was like little raccoon feet. Uh, it might be a demon baby. Demon baby. I don't know if you can even see those. Yeah, let's come on over here to this ceiling too. I didn't even see that. What'd y'all think of that, right? That's just a little glimpse of the Section 8 life, right? Now we're all on the same page. Now it's a, you know, it's an actual conversation, right? Because y'all used to read woke pieces like this that are not based in reality. I live in the real world, okay? I live in the world where I deal with Section 8 people every single day. And by and large, whether or not you are on Section 8 is a huge indicator to me as a landlord of how well you will treat the property and how responsible you are. Just like when I'm doing a tenant screening on you and I see that you've been evicted 10 times. I can tell, I can reasonably deduce that if you have screwed over the last 10 landlords, you have a higher than average chance of screwing me over, okay? 
These are things that we need to do as landlords, okay? It has nothing to do with sex, age, gender, race, none of that. It's just logical thinking, logical business, okay? Now, based on all that, you might be like, well, I, I don't even understand. This guy, this guy hates Section 8 so much. Why? Did, why is that his job if he doesn't want anybody to rent to Section 8 tenants? I never said I don't want anybody to rent to Section 8 tenants. I love renting to Section 8 tenants. But what I do not want is the government. I don't want Milwaukee coming in here and telling me I have to take a Section 8 tenant if I don't want to. You see, we need the freedom, guys. We need the freedom. We need the freedom as property owners to decide who we rent our property to and to properly screen okay so like when you have low income properties like properties in rougher neighborhoods that's actually that's like my niche that's what i do when you're in areas where there is super high crime and there's a lot of problems right typically your 750 plus credit score tenants with college degrees and decent chunk of money coming in they're not willing to live in these neighborhoods so then you know your your pool of tenants is going to be people on section eight or people that bounce from job to job or ex-cons felons drug dealers hookers strippers all that jazz right if you're dealing with that pool like that's your like your main tenant pool in that scenario even though Section 8 tenants are incredibly hard on your property, and by and large, they jack it up, right? You saw the clips. Uh, in that scenario, though, Section 8 tenants pose the least amount of financial loss risk to the landlord. So it makes business sense to rent your property to Section 8 tenants, which is what I do, right? But if you take uh, a property in a certain other neighborhood where the housing values are, let's say, five times as much, okay, and you get a whole bunch of other tenants, don't matter what color they are, white, black, blue, purple, who gives a fuck? We're looking for high credit scores, no eviction history, good job history, right? They're not getting a new job every freaking six months, right? Don't have any uh, crazy criminal charges, right? They didn't just do seven years for assaulting their ex-girlfriend, right? And you know those domestic abusers, guys. Like, let's talk about the real victims when it comes to domestic violence. The landlords, right? Anytime he goes to punch her, dude, if she's, if she's crafty, she does a little duck, that's going right through your drywall, man! You get one of those chicks that's got a little bit of moving to her, dude, you can get 14, 15 holes in your drywall before he gets her, you know what I'm saying? That's a problem, right? So you want to try to keep those people out of your house, right? Why would I want somebody like that who's just going to pound my drywall to bits when I can get a tenant who doesn't have that bad criminal history and all those other things that are going to negatively affect me and my business, right? That's what we're supposed to be doing in America. We're supposed to have the freedom to operate a business. So in those scenarios, there are so many qualified tenants who through their work history and their criminal background checks prove to be statistically much better tenants than Section 8 tenants. I would like to rent those properties to them. But Milwaukee says no. Milwaukee steps in on your business and says, you don't have that right. And that's bullshit. And they propagate how you're a bad, horrible, evil, racist landlord with woke pieces like this. And these are not true. This is not reality. This is not what happens. I'd like to see one of these uh, journalists actually live as a landlord, deal with a couple thousand tenants first, and then tell me what you said is true, because it ain't, guys. So this, what I've explained to you, what I've shown you in the clips, this is the reality, and uh, places like Milwaukee, this stuff is bad, and we got to stand up and speak out against this shit, or else we're just going to keep hearing, like, these loud woke voices like this pumping out articles like this so guys we got to be out there calling bullshit on this stuff right we got to stop the vilification of landlords in this country thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment